Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So today we picked up our new shop demo bike, 2023 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide. Um, the bike, we picked it up for a few different reasons. We wanted something fresh and new to um, do a build with. We wanted something that was gonna be factory looking. And the reason we chose the new Road Glide is it's a completely new platform. The radio's different, the amplifier's different, the speakers are different, the saddlebags are different. So it's relearning the entire bike. So the platform was basically the same from 98 through 13, then from 14 to 23. Now 23 and up is a new platform. So the saddlebags are different. They're more squared off. They're actually shorter, but wider. The rear lids have an option for a six by nine now from factory, it comes factory five by seven, but on the CVO model exclusively for now, it is a six by nine upgrade available. Um, the front, still the 6.5 inch um, Harley Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosgate. They went with a newer, more powerful amplifier that provides 125 watts per channel. Um, so, Picked up the bike this morning, uh, got it locally at Liberty Harley Davidson. Um, they treated me really well. I ordered this bike months ago and I got lucky and happened to get the first one to come out of this dealership. So the reason we ordered the bike is we build custom harnesses here at the shop to make everything plug and play into the factory head unit. So being that this is a new head unit, obviously it's gonna be different harnesses. So we wanted to be ahead of the game and get our hands on the bike early and start building that way we would have the products available to take us into the rest of the summer season. Um, they've completely redesigned the bike. Some people don't like the way it looks. Some people love the way it looks. I'm just concerned with the electronics and they did a phenomenal job. First thing I noticed driving at home on this 95 degree day this morning was that the screen is visible in direct sunlight. It's amazing, it's crystal clear. And then uh, I brought it outside before I left the shop a little while ago and it was dark out and at night the screen is also crystal clear. They did an amazing job. Um, the thumb controls, there's everything's built into the radio so you're not gonna be able to change the radio on these bikes. Uh, been warning shops for years that don't use DSPs. Eventually I knew Harley was gonna make it so you couldn't switch the radio. There is no need for the radio to be removable. So now all the factory information is displayed on the screen. They've done what Indian's done. They've done what Polaris has done, David Ware. They've done what Honda's done on Goldwing where the screen is now a display. It's not a radio unit, it's a display unit and there is no physical radio to remove. So the screen's only about two inches deep and there is nothing back there. I'll show you that in a, another video coming up. So we bought the bike because I assumed that everything, they normally put everything into the CVO and then a trail goes down into the lower models. So I assume the same thing's gonna happen here. So I think the screen's gonna be available in the lower models next year. I think the new saddlebag's gonna be available in the lower models. Uh, I don't see them going backwards. The six is something they should have done years ago and they finally did it and it's great. Um, in this video, I actually show um, the factory setup. I RTA'd it and I showed how it sounds with the five by sevens and then I actually got the six mines from the dealer and then the stage three six mine upgrade which is only available for the CVO currently and it made a huge difference in sound. This is the best factory audio system I've ever heard in my life on a motorcycle. They did a really good job. The bike has a ton of mid bass from factory. Obviously, it's not gonna make most of our clients happy, but I'm saying for factory, for those guys that refuse to change the factory system, and then on the older CVOs that constantly kept blowing the five by sevens in the back, they have fixed that problem. This is gonna be a solution for you. Upgrade those to the factory six mines. The bike, even with the five by sevens, the bike has a ton of mid bass. For a factory setup, for only 100 watts per speaker, it sounds really good. The bike's not loud. You can't compare it to an aftermarket audio system. It's not loud but it sounds really, really good and has a ton of mid bass from factory. Harley did an amazing job on this factory setup. To this day, this is the, I was impressed with last year's CVO setup and this one completely blows it away. Um, Harley did a really good job on the screen, on the speakers, on the 
upgrade for the six mines on the look of the bags and of course the CVO so it's still got power locks um, but they did a really really good job and I'll show that later on in the video um, we bought the bike to prototype all our new harnesses and products we're gonna be coming out with I know Tim Henry already got his and the guys from Sounds are already working on harnesses and they've already scoped the bike they've already checked signal um, so for these new bikes, if you're going to do audio on them, you're going to need a DSP. You cannot flash these bikes. The computer's completely locked out. I was talking to the service manager at Harley, he's a good friend of mine, Anthony, and he said there's currently no workaround. That system is locked. There is no getting into it. So I'm sure techno research will figure something out. But as of right now, you can't flash the bike. Um, we're obviously... So these shops that don't use DSPs and they don't believe doing DSPs, I guess you won't be doing the new CBO. You can't remove the factory amplifiers yet because it's data from the radio of the amplifiers. So you're not gonna be able to get signal from the radio. The radio communicates with the amplifiers via data. So if you pull the amplifiers out, there will be no signal to tap into. We'll get into more of that into another video. So it's a non-issue for us because we use DSP on everything. So we're just gonna catch signal coming out of the factory amplifier. Um, it sucks that we won't be able to remove the amplifiers and gain the extra space, but at least we can catch signal from the amplifiers. And then um, I haven't dove into it yet, but um, the factory amplifier is built in DSP. So hopefully I can manipulate the signal to give me a clean output signal since I can't flash it. So hopefully I can manipulate the factory DSP to give me a flat signal going into my DSP. But um, that's something for a later video. The screen is a beautiful 12.3 inch screen. Um, the factory amplifier is 125 by four with the DSP built in. It's the same 6.5 inch three ways that were available in last year's CVO. The big difference is this year they went with a three way five by seven that's actually attached to a six mine plate. So it looks like a six mine, but it's not. It's a five by seven. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's metal surrounding the five by seven. So it's a five by seven installed in a six by nine plate. When you remove that, you can upgrade to the stage three six by nine available now um, at the Harley dealership. I'll give you the part number later in the video. And it's a simple, simple swap. It's four screws to remove the grills and four screws to remove the speaker. The speaker drops in from the top. So you remove the grill, drop in the speaker, take out the five by seven, drop in the six by nine, reinstall the screws, reinstall the grills, literally. I did the install in about 15 minutes, and it's a huge, huge improvement. It gives you even more mid-bass. Um, it's a really good sounding bike. I really, really love, because before to do a six fine upgrade on a CVO or any, any Harley that came with factory five by sevens, you had to cut the webbing on the bottom, do an American hard bag five by seven to six fine adapter, which is like 200 bucks, and it's a ton of labor. And then the worst part is, the spacer drops down about two inches, then the six spine drops about three inches in the bag. So you end up losing about five inches worth of bag space doing the adapters, and it's the only way to do it to maintain the power locks. Now, since the speaker mounts from the top, there's no adapter needed. We even checked and the Hertz 690 Neo drops right in, but I'll get into that in another video. The, this time around, I only want to talk about the factory setup, but I am so happy that we can upgrade the back to six mine without cutting or modification. Um, this bike will be at, will be at SEMA this year. So NVS Audio will have a booth at SEMA this year, and this bike will be in the booth. Our goal with building this bike is to make it look 100% factory, but obviously sound the way the NVS Audio bike sound. So it's going to be a challenge. Um, we have to get this done by. October um, and we got to figure out our harnesses our amplifiers our mounting location but uh, we're gonna document the old thing the entire thing there's gonna be a bunch of videos on this build and uh, if you guys are gonna be in SEMA I invite you guys to come check us out so um, let me get to the video it's me picking up the bike from the dealer this morning bringing it to the shop taking it apart and uh, jumping into it only thing I did to it was uh, I RTA'd it and I listened to the factory setup with five by sevens. Then I upgraded to the six by nine stage three from the dealer. And then I RTA'd and listened to it again. So you guys get to see the whole thing.
Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Well, I'm here at Liberty Harley Davidson to pick up my brand new CBO. Nicole's my sales girl, and uh, Eddie is the sales manager. You can go in, talk to them now. There's my bike. <laughs> There's Nicole. She made the whole deal happen. How are you, sir? Excellent. So, Eddie took care of all the paperwork for me. He promised me I'd be out of here first thing in the morning. And sure enough, seven minutes flat. We're done. So, if you need anything, come see him. I want to follow behind you taking a So thank you, what a great team. Everything was exactly as promised and they got it to me early. You need anything, come see Nicole and Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. We're already working with Tim Nagy. This bike will be getting 10 inch mid base drivers in the bag. So the bags are completely different. They're wider. The shock tower bump out is wider and taller. So um, the old rings won't fit. So I've uh, been talking to Tim. So we're gonna prototype a set. I'm gonna get them shipped to him and then he's gonna mass produce them. Okay, for the factory CBO system, um, obviously I've heard every single rendition of the CBO factory audio from Boom Audio, Boom Audio 2, Boom Audio 3, Harley Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosgate, and um, this is the newest version of the Harley Davidson audio powered by Rockford Fosgate, but they did something that I've been begging them to do for years and they finally did it. So now the lid has a larger grill. So it's a larger grill opening on the lid. Um, this is currently only on the CBO Street Glide and Road Glide that offer this for 2023. Larger opening on the lid. It still comes with a five x seven, but what they did is it's a five x seven speaker and a six by nine flange. So it's actually the size of a six by nine, but it's a five by seven. They've also opened the webbing on the bottom to allow for a larger speaker, a larger magnet. So you already know where I'm going with this. So. When you get the CBO, it comes with the fully loaded, top of the line uh, audio package. 
but you can upgrade directly through Harley. You can upgrade the 5x7s to 6x9s. So this is the factory 5x7 that came in. If you notice, the speaker does not go all the way to the edge, does not go all the way to the top, does not go all the way to the bottom because it's a 5x7 speaker and a 6x9 flange. But if you order the upgraded audio kit, which will only fit the 23, currently will fit the 23 CBO Street Glide and Road Glide, it's a 6x9 speaker and a 6x9 flange. So if you notice, it goes all the way to the outside, all the way to the top. So, and it's got a bigger magnet. So there's the 5x7 and there's the 6x9. The magnet on the 6x9 is bigger. So I'm really excited that they did this because CVOs with power locks, obviously like this one has, you would have to use an adapter like the one from American Hard Bags. You would have to cut the webbing and a lot of clients are not happy cutting the webbing because you're modifying a very expensive bike. Now they make the webbing except a large six by nine magnet. So when you look at the factory five by seven, you're gonna notice there's a gap in the webbing to allow the magnet to clear and there's still space on either side. Once you drop the six by nine in, it takes up all that space. But it was super smart of Harley to do. I've been begging them to do this for years because now right through the factory, Anybody that's had a CVO or worked on a CVO knows that the rear speakers blow all the time. You're not making bass with a five by seven speaker. Every client that comes in wants to do an upgrade. We do the adapter and we do the six by nines. Since the, the bike has power locks, it's a pain in the butt to do the adapters and the speaker sits down an extra two to three inches because it's got to clear those power locks. Harley has taken care of that from the factory. The speaker drops in from the top. When we were doing the adapters, the six might have to go from the bottom, so you're losing two to three inches of bag space, plus the magnet on the bottom. Now the five by seven drops in from the top, and the Harley factory six mine drops in from the top. So we played the bike and RTA'd the bike with the five by seven. We're now gonna drop in the six by nine and show you the difference. Um, literally, all you need is a T20 Torx. The T20 removes the grill. The T20 also removes the speaker. Another thing that I like that they did, they had two separate connectors on the older setups, one for the tweeter, one for the woofer. Now there's a cap included in line to filter the tweeter. So it's a standard two pin connection like in the fairing. So very simple two pin connection. Even if you go for an aftermarket speaker, it's gonna be a simple two pin connection. The only issue you're gonna have is the negative on Harley is wide it's the wider terminal and the positive on harley is narrow which is the complete opposite of car audio and 95 percent of the speakers out there where the wider blade is positive and the narrower blade is negative so um if you can sh if you use an aftermarket speaker and you shave the blade down for the positive the factory terminals will slide on because these terminals are pretty big from factory it's not like the older ones where it's really really tiny one a really really wide one so uh, i'm going to show you on the other lid how to take it apart but the grill comes off very easily. Everything's a T20. And the speaker's also a T20. And then you pull off the two connectors. And we're gonna go over the other side. I'm gonna show you how you pull it apart. Part number for the 6x9 upgrade kit directly through Harley. And remember, it only currently fits the 2023 CVO Street Glide, 2023 CVO Road Glide, because the, the bike has been completely redesigned. The saddlebags are completely different. They're a different shape. The lids are wider and the grill is a lot bigger. So you're not fitting a six mine on the older ones, not drop and fit. So if you order these for an older bike, just know they're not gonna fit. Part number for the kit is 76001231. So the kit includes two stickers, a left six mine and a right six mine nine. If you wanna order, let's say you break a speaker or, or you go down on the bike and you only need a speaker for one side, the speaker individual part numbers. So the one for the left-hand side is a 76001182. The one for the right side speaker is a 76001134. Uh, the reason there's different part numbers for left and right is the tweeter bridge is angled up towards the rider. So obviously the one on the left side is angled this way, the one on the right side is angled this way. Okay, the super nice part about working on these lids is the only tool you're gonna need to upgrade the speakers is a T20 Torx. So a T20 removes the grill and the T20 also removes the speaker. The speaker drops in from the top. So there's four silver screws that hold the grill in place. And then after you remove the grill, 
The silver screws are obviously from the bottom. Once you remove the grill, the speaker's held in from the top with four black screws, which are also T20. One, two, three, four. Make sure you don't drop the grill when you remove the last screw. And that's why I have it leaning on my lap. That's it, grill's off. So now we have four T20s. I have no idea why they made them this long, but okay. Flip the speaker, you have two connectors. Black is negative, white is positive. Now the white is skinnier and the black is wider. So the speaker drops right in place. Black screws hold the speaker in, silver, silver screws hold the grills in. that easy let's see what it sounds like Okay, here's a frozen screenshot of the factory system playing pink noise. Pink noise is all the frequencies from 20,000 hertz to 20 hertz. So bass, 20 hertz on the left. Highs, 20,000 hertz is on the right. So as you can see, they gave this bike a ton of lower mid range and mid bass. So if you look at the chart, sub bass, which subwoofers 20 to 60 hertz, we have almost nothing. So 
60 hertz it starts to pick up. 60 to 2500, what they consider bass or mid bass. Um, this is where we tune most of our bikes, um, our eights in the bags. This is where we like to stay around in stock bags because you would need aftermarket bags to get to play that low. So this is where we really emphasize. So obviously the stock bike is weak there because it doesn't have eight inch mid-base drivers in the bag, but the six mines are doing a pretty good job because 63 is strong. 63 Hertz is really strong. So this chart that you can get from bestmusicstuff.com gives you an idea of what's supposed to sound where. So when somebody says hiss or brightness or presence, you can tell where it is in the chart and it helps you get a better understanding of what you're looking at here. But see right here is where the factory system is lacking. Um, this is all at the same volume. So naturally the speakers don't respond well. So Harley has EQ'd this out on purpose. And the reason they've done it is if you add EQ here, that's where you have most of the vocals. And if you EQ it, that's where you can get ear fatigue and so they chose to dial it back there so the bike has is really bright on the top end and has really decent bottom end for a stock bike the vocals is where it's lacking but we're not picking on harley most factory systems have this issue and this graph looks way 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 better than any other factory harley audio we've tested it normally has a bunch of gaps here we only have one big gap um I like the fact that 8K is drawn down because 8K is really piercing. But um, this is pretty good for a factory setup. But um, to get that much volume in that lower mid-range section, I'm really impressed with. They did a really good job with it. So uh, we're going to put this up against our aftermarket setups. But I just wanted to give you a visual representation of what the new CVO Sound, sounds like it looks like on the microphone. Harley did a really, really good job. I'm really impressed. Um, it's not gonna please most of my customers, but a lot of the CV owners that are gonna buy the bike stock, um, they're gonna be happy. This is a huge improvement over even last year's setup. Those six by nines really, really make a huge difference. You see how the magnet is completely filling the hole now. Great job that the Harley team did designing this setup. I'm really impressed. For a factory setup, you really can't ask for too much more without taking up bag space and getting everything from factory. I think they did a really, really good job. The screen is amazing on this new bike. And I rode it here from the dealer this morning. Indirect sunlight, no problem seeing that screen at all. None, zero. factory six and a halfs in the front. These are the factory five by sevens that come in a six by nine flange and we upgraded those to the factory six by nines.